Well, when we're looking at stem changers, we have to know which tense we're talking about. And so here, we're just going to look at the present indicative, or the present tense is a way that you might refer to it. Over here, we have our endings, just as a, as a reminder for what they are for the present tense. All right, well, what is a stem-changing verb, and how does it happen? Well, the first thing we want to know is, where does it occur? And so if we go back to our box of six, and we look at our box, our stem changes occur only in these persons. Now, some people call these boot verbs or shoe verbs or sapato verbs, right? Because they say that this looks like a shoe. My shoes don't look like that, but if that works for you, great. So they have some changes there. Well, what kind of changes do we have? Well, in our verb, it'll either change from an O to a UE, a U to a UE, E to IE, or E to I. And right here, we have a few examples of stem changers. But you might say, well, how do I know if it's a stem changer? Well, you'll be told. In your textbook, there's probably a list of verbs to memorize. And once you get the hang of it, you'll remember which ones they are. So let's look at an example. So let's look at volver. And sometimes you might see it written like this in your book. And this means that that O changes to a UE. But remember, it only changes in the places where we have the X. All right, so let's go ahead and put in our box of six right here. Volver. So the first thing that we want to do, we're going to put this into the O form, is we take off our ER. The first thing that we do again, we take off that ER that we have, and we will put our ending on for the yo form of an ER verb. But we have a second step, and that means that this O has to change to a UE. And so we would have vuelvo. The O changes to a UE. And there is that boot that we were talking about. So that stem change, that O to the UE stem change, only occurs in boxes 1, 2, 3, and 6. So when we have the form over here, we use it as normal. Let's go ahead and erase this one and look at another example. And we're going to look at a word that's not on the list right here. Let's look at to prefer. And this one is an E to IE stem changer. So we draw our box of six. And we know that it's only going to change in our shoe. But then I notice we have a problem. There are two E's. Well, you can't change both of them. So which one do you change? You change the one closest to the end. So this one is closer to the end. So that's the one that we're going to use when we change the E to an IE. So we'll leave the first part, and now that E that we have right here changes to an IE. We take off our IR. We're in an IR verb over here, and we're putting into the yo form, prefiero. All right, so our E changes to an IE. And how did we know that it changes to an IE? Well, you just have to memorize, right? There'll be a list uh, in your book, or if you go online, 
and what you want to look up are stem changing verbs for the present tense. Because when we get to some of our other tenses, they're going to have their own types of changes. Now we notice that we're not inside our boot over here, and we don't have the change. Okay, when you're working with your stem changing verbs in the present tense, we remember that we need our boot verb or our shoe verb because they only change in these persons right here. These are the only changes that we have, O to U, E, U to U, E, E to I, E, and E to I. And the only way you're going to know if they're a stem changer is by memorizing them. So find the list, memorize them, and then start practicing. All right, go out and try some. Let me know how it goes. Suerte!